All right, so my room is a mess. I got one yellow glove on. My hair looks like this. Can you guess what I'm doing today? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be dyeing my hair for the first time by myself. A whole head of hair. I've never dyed my full head of hair by myself. So I have a lot of anxiety right now. I'm really nervous, but I'm also really excited because I want this to come out cute. So I'm gonna be dyeing my hair copper with this L'Oreal copper high color, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. And yeah, let's just get started. So I actually have four boxes of these because I have a lot of hair and I know this is gonna be a challenge. Uh, but I've been really into trying these kind of things with my hair because I have a lot of hair and if I were to go to a salon or something, I would not be able to afford it and it's just ridiculous so guys look how long my hair is look at that I'm just showing off now but yeah hopefully I don't damage it because that would be fucking tragic I told my dad if this does come out bad to have his clippers ready because I'm just gonna go bald I actually been wanting to go bald for a minute but let's not put that negativity in the air this is gonna come out great so besides the L'Oreal high color, I also got this um, developer, the cream developer. I got it in volume 30. Um, I wanted to get 40 because I watched a ton of videos and a lot of girls use 40. But everybody says it's so damaging and yeah, so I figured I'd just go with 30 because like I said, I do have a lot of hair and you know, a lot of the girls I've watched do this have shorter hair than me. So I imagine it's a lot easier for them. And probably not as damaging because it doesn't take as long for them to do their whole head but i feel like this is going to take me a hot fucking minute i'm probably going to want to give up halfway to be honest and i'm using these plastic gloves that i used to wash my dishes with so first things first it says on the box to use a full tube of this and 2.4 ounces of this so here i have a plastic bowl and a measuring thing like right in front of me so I'm just gonna measure 2.4 ounces now we squeeze it out and actually I'm gonna squeeze out a little by little because a lot of people say this can be very like clumpy and chunky so I'm gonna squeeze out a little by little each time and then mix it up a bit whisk it yeah yesterday I was watching like 600 videos at first I wanted to go like blonde but then I'm like Ugh. Then I would have to bleach my hair and although like obviously using developer is kind of the equivalent of bleaching because you're lifting your hair it's really not as damaging as constantly bleaching your hair because if I wanted to upkeep the blonde I would have to keep bleaching and bleaching and bleaching so yeah Mercy. get out Mercy. what get out why oh my god I'm not playing. What the hell? Are you making your hair orange? Yeah. What is that? It's dye. Is it like paint? Kind of. That might be paint. It's not paint. But what is it? Sauce? Yeah, it's tomato sauce. Wow. Stop harassing me! Okay, so yeah, watching this in hindsight, you know, this is my first time dying. I made a lot of mistakes. I think my biggest mistake was um, just using my hands to run the hair the dye through my hair because i ended up missing a lot and because i didn't really use enough dye my hair didn't really get fully saturated also it was messy af i got dye pretty much everywhere you could imagine on my clothes on my body everywhere um but you know it was a learning process All right guys, so update, this is my hair. I actually really love this color, how it came out. And as you can see, my hair still looks super healthy. Uh, and I'm in the sun right now. That's why it looks really reddish and copper. However, um, and also some of my parts, were, some of parts of my hair were really lighter. So I was expecting those parts to come out really bright, like this shade right here. 
but I really wanted my whole head to look like that. And as you can see, I missed a lot of spots just because of the way I was applying it. I knew that would happen, but I'm gonna go in with another dye job and I'm actually gonna use a brush this time next week. So hopefully it'll come out a bit more even, but right now it actually just looks like nice highlights. So I'm not really mad. Okay guys, so it has been five days since I last dyed my hair. I've sectioned it off already. I'm using four tubes of dye. Oh, oh my god. I'm using four tubes of dye all at once. And I actually got a little brush this time to um, paint it on. So hopefully it will come out a bit better. But yeah, uh, I am excited. And uh, I'll cut back to you guys to see how this shit turns out. All right, so I didn't record the application process, but I assure you it was the same exact way, but with a brush and I was able to get it more even. There was still some strands that didn't look that covered, but I mean, this is what it looked like after 30 minutes under a plastic bag, washing it off. And I was amazed by how vibrant it was. Um, I think layering it on top of what I did before also really helped out a lot. Also, I want to point out that this cost me like less than $40 to do, roughly, maybe even less, maybe like $30. i am not good at math. Like the tubes of dye were like $5 each at the, my local beauty supply. The uh, developer was about that range too. And those are like the most expensive things. What else did I get? A brush? It's a dollar. Gloves are a dollar. So actually less than a dollar. So yeah, two process, double process would typically cause somebody with my hair at least like if i find a nice lady 200 dollars, but at least 250 dollars, and that's cheap guys like if i were to go somewhere in the city like new york i live close there oh my god this would have cost me over 400 and doing it myself it's not perfect but you know what i'm saying like it's just as i would say it's almost just as good as most uh salon people would do it anyway I, I i don't know if i'm gassing myself but you know and it only cost me 40 dollars. i cannot be happier with what i got for the amount i spent on it and it wasn't even that hard like if i could do it you could do it all right guys so this is the final product i'm out about to go out but i just want to show you guys how it looks dry and i think it came out really good a lot more orangey than what i was expecting but still nice the bottom part is still kind of dark might dye it like again maybe in a month or so but use like a 20 volume developer to maybe get that dark out for the most part i think it came out really cute and yeah i'm pretty happy with how this all turned out so. i like it so yeah thank you guys all for watching and i'll see you all in my next video